Hi everybody, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video about the new drums that I got from De uh, <coughs> Brendan De, De Fuita. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so I got these yesterday, uh, they're modeled off some antique drums that Brendan had the opportunity to, to look at and uh, I think they're really really cool looking. Um, he's got his obviously his tricks to make them look as old as they do. Uh, it's got a lap joint in the front held together with some wire and staples which he's aged and uh, I was kind of worried about how that was going to look with the skin on top but uh, Brennan managed to make it look really really good and of course it, yeah it caused a little bit of buzz yesterday I thought when we when I posted the, the photos but I wanted to give uh, everybody an opportunity to hear them as well so I've only put water on these I only ever put water on uh, Brendan's drums at his direction uh, as far as microphones, I've got a Sennheiser here in the back and a condenser microphone in the front. So I hope everyone can hear me okay. I think the drum's going to come through a lot louder than my voice. Um, <clears throat> what else can I say? They look cool. Uh, it's got a wire handle in the back and you can kind of twist it sometimes. Maybe you can uh, get a little bit of tone difference by twisting it a little bit. Um, and uh, you can play it obviously open like this or stick your hand in there and I'll do both uh, for this demo. So here we go. So that's open, and then uh, put your hand in the back. You can play it, I guess, like more like conventional boron now. Sounds really good, especially for a non-tunable. It's nice and light. Uh, steam bent frame it's really cool so Brennan sent me this one but then he also sent me the smaller one same kind of frame uh, lap joint there and uh, again looks like it could be 100 years old we'll give this one a shot I'll play it open first So yeah, hopefully it gives you guys uh, some idea what they all sound like. And then finally, uh, just by way of comparison, I'll uh, do a little demo on the Brendan's more conventional drum with a split rim tuner and uh, steam steam bent ash frame. This is a great drum. Uh, I played a split rim Fred Halpin drum in the, uh, in the 90s and early 2000s, and this drum is far and away better. I did like I did like Fred's tuning system a lot. Uh, I think it looks really clean. Uh, no tuning rim in the back and no bevels in the front, and I really like that. So it looks like a traditional drum, but obviously you have the tuning system in it. And uh, Brendan, for my money, has got the thinnest split rim. Uh, system going a lot of times you can see split rims they're they get kind of bulky uh, in the rim but this one's really good so yeah I'll just plug in the microphone here and
there you go. Full range of drums that I've gotten from Brendan and uh, couldn't be more happy with them. Uh, they're excellent craftsmanship. Uh, looks the whole nine yards. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Margaret, if you're out there, I hope you like the hat. I just got it a couple weeks ago. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye now.